welcome to this BuyBot Pro video. In this video, I just want to talk to you about ways that you can customize your BuyBot Pro. So in this way, I don't mean kind of what BuyBot Pro takes into account or what you can and cannot see in BuyBot Pro, but what I mean is how you can customize it in a more visual way. So I've just picked a random product and I'm on Amazon and then I'm going to just show you. So you'll notice here there are some buttons. So this is where you can influence where BuyBot Pro sits on the Amazon product page. So at the moment, I've got it set to what we call the default view. It's down the right hand side. And when I scroll down, you'll notice that the Amazon page and Bible Pro scrolls down. So I'm scrolling through both of them. So you have two other options and they are basically whether you want it to be on the left and the right. But there's one main difference between those two ways to view it and how I have it now. So let's just choose one of those, for example. You'll see now that because I chose the left one, it is now kind of pinned or stuck to the left hand side of the Amazon page. As I scroll down, if I've got my cursor over the main page, you'll notice that the Amazon product page is scrolling, but Bible Pro on the left hand side is staying as it is. In order to scroll through Bible Pro, if I put the cursor over the top and then I scroll, you'll see that then, that then moves. And this works in exactly the same way when I use the right hand side, I can scroll down just the Amazon product page or I can scroll down just Bible Pro. So you have a few options. And like I said, with the default one, when you scroll, both are scrolling through. The other thing you can do when you click on these arrows here, this is the section customizer. So you'll notice that Bible Pro is always split up into sections. So here you can see all of the available sections. You can toggle them on and off. So let's say, for example, you don't have any VAs. So you think that's not applicable to me. I'll just toggle that off because if I do get some VAs in the future, as I grow my business, I can just toggle it back on. The other thing you can do is change the order of the sections. So let's say the second thing, for example, you want to see is the details. You can just drag and drop and move that up. So you have complete freedom over, first of all, the sections that you do and don't see and also where in, Bible, in the Bible Pro panel they sit as well. If for any reason you think, no, I don't want those changes anymore. I just want to kind of reset it. You've got the little circle arrows here and that basically resets it to what we call standard view. If you do make any changes that you want Bible Pro to implement, don't forget to click save at the bottom so that Bible Pro can put those changes into place. To come back to the main Bible Pro, you just click on those arrows again and it will take you back to the main page. So those are the ways that you can kind of visually customise Bible Pro. If you have any questions, just drop an email to info at BibleProPro.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.